Good morning, guys. Hey, welcome to day two. We are at the Harris Chain. I don't know if you can see me there. There we are. We're at the Harris Chain, getting ready to go get some ice. It's gonna be a hot one today. 91 degrees, 91, 92, no wind. So it's gonna be hot, calm, sunny, tough. Probably gonna be a tougher day, uh, but we're ready for it. So we gotta get ice because the iPads for the major league fishing boat officials They'll tend to overheat, so the ice will help keep it cooled down. But anyway, we're close to the ramp. We're staying close to the ramp. We're gonna go get some, go get that ice, get the boat in the water, and we are in tenth place after day one. So we've just gotta, uh, just gotta catch enough fish to stay in the top twenty, make the cut. Bobby Lane took a huge lead on day one in our group, so probably not gonna be able to catch him. But we can definitely, definitely make the top twenty uh, with you know a few bites. Probably need about ten pounds or something like that. And maybe a little more than 10 pounds, maybe 13 pounds. But anyway, we're gonna go get that ice, head out on the lake, and we'll catch you guys out there. Should be a fun day. We'll see what's up. See ya. I got you, baby. Good morning. Running late. That thing sounds good, Cox. I know, it wouldn't even back up. <laughs> That's you dang right. Need about 15 pounds. Yes, sir. It'll be a fun day. Damn, he's even got rods on the side over there. He's on a bag today. When you got rods on the side, you're you're freaking on them. See ya. This perfect little breeze pushing us through here. Don't even have to use the trolling motor. That's how you really keep these fish from not getting spooked. Little guy. Eh. Why couldn't you have been a keeper? He will. I think he probably will. Well, we will take him if he will, I promise you. Come on, be one eight. No? One pound, seven ounces. Oh my gosh. He bounced eight, but rehook him. Dude, he was holding one eight right there. One pound, eight ounces. Okay. I will take that. That's tight. That's close right there. That's as tight as it gets right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was dang close. <laughs> I was about to take him off, and when I when I was going to grab him, I saw it bounce one eight. I'm like, no, let's put him on there one more time. Bite like the lightest bite ever. If you weren't really paying attention, you would not catch that fish. There's no bite. He's just like slowly just barely moving out of just felt like I had a piece of grass on it there's 
boot. I was just thought I found it when we idled around this morning. That is how you use your time. It'll keep. Got the old Magnum hit worm on the shaky head for him. One pound, ten ounces. Yeah. See, check that out. Whoa. That was valuable time idling around like that. You remember I was like, I think I see some fish there. It looked good yeah. when I put the trolling motor down. <laughs> Little suckers. Gotcha. Saw some dots. What you know about dots? Are you on that dot life, bro? I'm all about the dots. Are you? Me too. And I don't know what this is down there, but it's not a piece of brush. It's something man-made. Because it's a perfect square. It's weird. We're gonna move. Sorry, dude. Five inches. Yeah. Come on, fish. Come on. Let's go, fish. Come on. Don't you come off. Don't you come off. Don't you come off. I got you. Oh, yes! That's how you freaking end the period right there, baby. Yes! God, that makes me feel better. Hold on. Four pounds, five, six ounces. Okay. Yeah, right there. Look how skinny she is. That's a five and a half or six pounder with a four pound body, or five and a half, six pound body. That weighs four pounds right now, but that's all right. Nice, Justin. Yeah, dog. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, hey, he's yeah, there. baby. I'll, Here. I'll take one for you. <laughs> okay. Got it? Yep. That helps the cause. Let's go. Come on. One more. How much time we got? Like a minute and a half. Good looking spot right there. We'll try and hit that before. All right. That is a good way to end the period. Man, we fished our freaking butt off this period. And we didn't fish much grass, so we caught two out of the grass, so. 40 pounds, we're at 34, we need six pounds. If I can get six pounds in the next two periods, I'll feel pretty good. Sorry you guys gotta leave and the party's just getting started, but we're gonna be boat flipping fours and shooting tequila in about 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a heck of a way to end the first period. Uh, we just came down this hard grass line. You guys can see it through here. And that's kind of what I've been targeting when I'm fishing this Kissimmee grass is trying to get on these harder edges that come out with little points. There's, I don't know, over the next 100 yards, probably 15 or 10, 10 little points through there that one could be sitting on. And that's why you kind of move faster here. You don't, normally if you're flipping, you kind of flip slow, but this is like a faster flipping deal because you're just trying to hit the, all these, if you look backwards here, you can see one, two, three, there's four points right there that, and then one of them was where that one came out of. So we're just flipping that Berkeley General black blue tip in here, five inch, nothing special, three eighths ounce weight and uh, 40 pound X9 braid. And it seems to be working, it works well. I mean, I think I should probably be doing this a little longer, honestly, getting sucked into those brush piles. And I just don't think that's the deal. I think you can catch some fish off them, but I don't think it's the deal. So we'll keep doing this for a while. There's a lot more guys on this lake, it feels like today. Probably because they didn't want to run, realize how many fish got caught here the other day. So 
if we can just get in these fresh areas down these little stretches where no one's been the reason i came here too is there's so much wind blowing in here the past few days no one could really fish it until yesterday so unless somebody came through here yesterday and fished over the past five or six days this bank has not been fished and the water's still clean so they they can be here Stay on there. Stay on there. Yeah, that'll keep. Ooh. That was close. <laughs> scorable, scorable, scorable. Two pounds, five ounces. Sweet. And in practice, if you got one bite, you were going to get another bite like they were schooled up in this stuff or you wouldn't just get one bite god dang like i just don't understand how it goes in swings man like people catch them on day one don't catch them on day two other guys throttle them dumb 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 i think he might have come off <laughs> I haven't lost any fish at all and I've lost like three out of the last four. Like, I, well, I mean, why, you know, I don't understand that. I swear it's the way they start eating the bait, dude. I mean, why would I, why else can you explain now losing four of the last five and I hadn't lost any the first day or, to, or earlier today? That's just the weirdest freaking crap. I don't understand that. That helps, big time. Nah, stuck my rod. Yeah, yeah, little feet. Two pounds, four ounces. Nice. That helps. Four, three, two, one. Lines out in three, two. Okay. Man, it is just hot and dead calm. Dude, there's not a breath of wind. Oh, look, yeah. look, look across here. <laughs> it there's, ain't much. There ain't a ripple anywhere. Yeah, Let's put no, it that way. No, there ain't a ripple. There's boat waves, but there ain't a ripple. Yeah. We gotta catch them up. Oh, we gotta catch them up. And go back. I don't know if I can get that off the bank, guys. We're starting period three right now. And I don't know if I can get bit off the bank in this calm weather, so we're gonna try this spot where I had caught one the other day. Then we're gonna stay shallow for a while and go back to some deep stuff if we need to at the end. That is the plan for period three. We really need a couple fish this period. Try this job shot. If he will or not. No. No. No what? Be close. One pound, seven ounces. God, you gotta be kidding me. It's clear. Okay. One pound, seven ounces. Freaking A. I mean, he was there. Oh, come on. It's just freaking crazy. 20 minutes ago, it was 10 pounds. Every one of those guys just caught one. Come on, fish.
Dude, you are, you gotta be a 1 8. You're thick. Come on. Joking. Yep. One pound, seven inches. Come on. For real? We're good. One pound, seven Freaking inches. Freaking A, dude. Son of a. Dude, I ain't catch this many little ones the other day. I'll tell you that. That's for sure. I don't know where they've all come from. I mean, they're just catching the living crap out of them, and I'm not. And it's getting pretty frustrating. I've lost four or five fish since noon. Lost a big one on a crankbait. Four or five flipping. Just ridiculous. I'm feeling the major league fishing pressure right now. I have been all day. I just need to catch a one three or four pounder. Come on, baby. Oh. <laughs> Damn big one, too. That's where I caught a big one the other day. Why is it so hard to get a bite? I guess the only thing I can do is the last few minutes is run somewhere where I know where I lost that crankbait fish. I know that there's fish on that spot. I've caught a five pounder, lost a big one. I hate to run, but dang, dude. I don't know what else to do. Need that miracle bite. Come on, baby. Be one eight. Not gonna be it. Gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. I wanna I mean throw it on there just in case, but it's not I need a new worm anyway. One pound, one out. That's a non scoreable bash. Most just pissed off because I've made the cut in all the Bass Pro Tour events since last heavy hitters last June. And I wanted to keep that rolling. And I thought I had it locked up today, but the guys blasted them. Got my taste of reality. I've been catching a lot of fish lately, and today's a finally had a tough day. So I'm not even that tough. They just didn't catch them good enough. Come on, just be there. Three, two, one, end of round. Let's go. All right, guys, didn't make the cut this week, but uh, I lost a big one on a Berkeley dredger right there. Like, that would have done it. Several I lost flipping the general would have done it. I didn't lose a single fish until halfway through today, and then I started losing everything. I, I have no idea why. So. I caught everything on a uh, Berkeley General and a Dredger and a Fatty Bottom Hopper. I had the bites, I just didn't put them in the boat, so we're headed back. You are. What's up guys? Hey, uh, we're headed home now. I got Cooper and Bree with me. Hello. <laughs> He's got an ice cream sandwich because he was a good kid. And we're at the best gas station in the world. There's actually one in Georgia, so I gotta put a little gas in the truck. But Bucky's, I think we have two in Alabama now. And of course, what's it called, Coop? What's this place called? Mm, Uncle Bucky's. He calls it Uncle Bucky's. You love Uncle Bucky's? You do? <laughs> and I got, I mean, look at this brisket. It is like legit and brisket. And they had my favorite hot, hot sauce, this stuff. Don't even get started on it because it's pricey, but it is really, really good. So anyway, guys, you saw yesterday, that was a struggle. Uh, you know, my second day of the qualifying round, I just, I was in it all day long. And I thought I had it for sure, but that cut weight shot way up and just got bumped out at the end. I Nothing else I would have really done differently. Nothing I feel like I could have gone back and did differently. I don't know. I think I just ran out of fish more than anything. So, uh, and of course I've been watching live today and it's just makes me even more frustrated that I missed it. So we're going to take off, finish eating, 
start heading back to Alabama. Well, we only got like six hours left, so not bad. But as always, appreciate you guys watching. Tell them to subscribe, Bree. <laughs> right in the middle of her bite. Subscribe, like, comment. All the good stuff. You guys know what to do. So hope you enjoyed the Harris Chain video. Next, we are going to, where are we going? Chickamauga. Chickamauga. Close Ten, to home. Close to home. That'll be nice. Only like an hour and 40 minutes away. So we'll see you guys next time at Chickamauga. Bye.